Hello Morris class, Miss Bake here and welcome back to your third maths video for this week. The date today is the 7th of January 2021. So in order for us to begin our maths lesson, what do you need to go and bring? Fantastic, if you've already got a piece of paper or something to write on and something to write with, a pen or a pencil or whiteboard pen, then you are ready to begin your arithmetic. If not, pause the video and go grab those things now, please. Okay, welcome back. Now, if you usually do challenge one, you will do challenge one arithmetic. If you do challenge two, you will do challenge two. Now, I'm going to ask you to pause the video here and go through your challenge one or challenge two. Okay, now, once you have done that, unpause and then we will go through the answers. Okie dokie, well done Morris class for completing your arithmetic. We are now going to go through the answers. So we're always going to start with the bigger number first. So challenge one, three, add six. We're going to start with the bigger number first, put six in your head, hold up three fingers, count on six, seven, eight, nine. Well done, well done. Right, next one, five, add five. Five fingers, five more, all together. 10, well done, Morris class. Okay, now nine, take away one. So hold up nine fingers and put one down. How many have we got all together? I know there's five on this hand, so I don't need to count one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and our extension, we've got two numbers that you add together that equal 14. So. For this one, because obviously you can't tell me what you put down through the screen, I would like you to take a picture of your um, arithmetic and upload it onto Tapestry so I can mark it, okay? So, challenge two, are you ready? Now, when you completed this, you might have noticed that there is a pence sign after the 19 pence and seven pence. So, if you have not put a pence sign after your answers, pause the video here and do that now, because remember, when we're adding when we're adding pence together it needs to you need to remember to put your p sign which is a pence sign unless it's above 99 pence which then changes to a, a pound sign so do that now and then come back and we'll go through the answers okay well done for doing that so challenge two 19 pence add seven pence so put 19 in your head Hold up seven fingers and count on 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So 26 pence, 26. Oh, pence. I'm not going to forget to do my pence sign. Oh, it's a very dodgy pence sign, but there we go. Okay, you guys, Morris class already know my handwriting is not the neatest. Right, next one, we've got eight pence add 37 pence. Going to start with the bigger number, which is 37 pence. Put that in your head, hold up eight fingers and then count on. So 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 pence. Well done, Morris. Well done. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, excuse me. 45 pence. Okay, and the last one, um, number three, not the last one, before the extension, number three, we've got 26 pence take away 12. 26 pence. Now, which method did you use to complete this question? So there are a, a couple of ways that we can do it. We could do it in our head, or we could do um, a formal column subtraction. Okay, so first we're going to try doing it in our head. So we'll start off with the bigger number, which is 26. Now it's take away 12. So we're going to break this. We're going to break number 12. Let me write it here, 12. We're going to break it down. So how, how do we make 12? Well, we'll start with 10 over here, 10 and two. So 10 and two make 12. So from 26, we're going to take 10 away, which leaves us with 16. Well done. And then we're going to take away two from 16 which is 14, well done. So that's one way if you want to do it in your head. And if you would like to do formal column subtraction, let me move my face out the way, let me move myself on this side. And uh, we've got our column subtraction here. 
right, we could do it like this. So we always start off with the first number, 26. Take away 12. Now there isn't much room, so I'm going to put a little um, takeaway sign so we know um, that we are taking away. And then we're going to start with our number at the top. Six, take away two. So hold up six fingers and then take away two. One, two. How many do you have left? Four. Well done. And then we've got two, take away one. One. So which way do you think was easier? Which way was easier for you to work out this sum? Was it easier for you to do it in your head by breaking up the number 12 into 10? First you take away 10 and then you take away two. Or was it easy to do the formal column subtraction? For me, personally, I think it's quicker and it's more accurate if you do the formal column subtraction method. Because that way, okay, because sometimes if you're doing it in your head and you don't have a number line or a 100 square in front of you, you might get a bit muddled up with the numbers. So always try when you're doing your arithmetic um, and they're bigger numbers to do the formal written method, okay? So that's for subtraction and addition. Okay, the last one we have, we have two numbers that add together that make 38 pence. Now, same with, um, with the challenge one extension. Oh, you can't tell me what your answers are. I can't hear you through the screen. So I would like you to make sure that you upload on Tapestry so I can check if you're the two numbers that you've added together equal 38 pence. Now, remember, if you've said, for example, let's say 20, 20, add, 18, now, pause the video here. Can you tell me what I've done wrong? What have I forgot to add? Exactly right, the pence sign. There we go. There's one example for you. Okay, now we're going to move on to our lesson for today. So let's move me back over here. I'm over here now, Morris class. Okay, so our learning objective today, can I count pounds and pence together? Our split screen objective is, can I use the pound and pence sign accurately? So which of these represent 14 pound? So pause the video here. On your piece of paper, you're just going to write A, B, C, D or E. Make sure you are counting them together. So do you think this makes 14 pound? Do you think B makes 14 pound? This one's you're counting in your twos because they're all two pound coins. Do you think this one makes 14 pounds? Do you think this one makes 14 pounds? Oh, I don't think this one makes 40, but we've got, we've got a 10 pound and a five pound note. And what about this one here? So A, B, C, or D, or E. Well done, okay, moving on. It says, what is the total value of the coins below? So when the question is asking the total value, you need to add the value of the coins together, okay? Which is the numbers uh, on the coins. So we've got one pound here and we've got 10p. And if you add them together, it is one pound and 10 pence. One pound and 10 pence. One pound and 10 pence. Well done, brilliant job. Okay, what is the total value of the coins below? So have a look, pause the video here, have a look. Okay, did you get that? So we've got first, we've got one pound, but how many pence do we have? So here is the pound and these are the pence. So how many pence do we have all together? We've got a 10 pence coin and a five pence coin. If we add them together, how many pence are there? Let's have a look. It's one pound and 15 pence. One pound and 15 pence. One pound and 15 pence. Great job. We've got a couple more. So what is the total value of the coins below? Pause the video here and talk to your toy or talk to your teddy. Brilliant. Did you add the pence? So let's let me circle the pence for you so it's easier for you to see. So we've got one pound here. So this is our pound. And these are our pence. Now we've got one pound, but we need to find out how much, how many, what is the total value of the pence that we have all together? So let's have a look if you got it right. 
Oh, it's frozen. There we go. It's one pound and 22 pence. One pound and 22 pence. One pound and 22 pence. Let's see if that's correct, actually. We've got, so we've got one pound. I know that's my one pound coin. Then I've got a 20 pence coin. Add one makes 21. Add another one pence makes 22. So yes, that is absolutely right. Okay, what is the total value of the coins below? So pause the video again and talk to your teddy. Oh, well done. So did you guys spot that this is not a one pound coin? This is a two pound coin. Well done. So this is our pounds over here. Oh, try that again. This is our pounds over here. So these are our pounds and this is our pence. So let's see how, what is the total value? It is four pounds and 50 pence. Four pounds and 50 pence. Well done, four pounds and 50 pence. Okay, we are now going to use a part whole model to help us partition a total value of money into pounds and pence. So I, what I would like you to do is can you go and grab your within your emergency pack that was sent home with you a little while ago there was a laminated part hole model and a um grid on the other side so we are going to be using that part hole model today so if you can you pause the video here and can you go and grab that and then once you're back unpause and we'll carry on okay welcome back morris class let's go <clears throat> sorry excuse me it says can you see that at the top? Oh, hang on a minute. It says two pounds and 60 pence. So we've got the total value in our part, um, the total part, um, the total value at the top part of our part whole model. So a lot of parts there, that's a bit of a tongue twister. The top part of our part whole model, okay? So we've got two pounds and 60 pence. It says two pounds and 60 pence. Now, we need to partition the total value of two pounds and 60 pence, so these right here, into pounds and pence. So pause the video here, talk to your partner or talk to the person in the, in the room or your teddies. How do you think we could do that? How could we partition two pounds and 60 pence? Well done. What we are going to do is we are going to be we are going to be partitioning this two pound and 60 pence into pounds and pence. So first we need to, hang on, let's get my arrow up. There we go. We need to partition. So we need to put the pounds on this side because that goes in that part. And we need to put the pence in this side because that goes in that part. So now we have successfully partitioned two pound and 60 pence into pounds and pence. Right, let's do another one. We've got three pounds and 20 pence. Well done. So again, we're going to partition the total value of three pounds and 20 pence into pounds and pence. So we've got three pounds and then we've got 20 pence. Well done. Okay. Ooh, the next one, this one's a little bit more difficult. We've got five pound and 16 pence. Five pound and 16 pence. That is the total value. Now we are going to partition this into pounds and pence again. So let's have a go at that. So I know that this is a pound, this is two pounds and that's two pounds. So that needs to go on that side. And then these are all pence. That's a five pence coin, five pence, five pence and a one pence coin. So that's pence that needs to go on that side. So five pound and 16 pence is made up of five pounds. And on this side, 16 pence. Okay, now we're going to work through this example together. So this is going to be, so this is something that is very similar to what your challenge is going to be, okay? So we're going to work through this example together. It says three pounds and 70 pence. So I know, let me get my pen ready. I know that this is our total value at the top. Right, so I'm going to write total value with my very, very neat handwriting. Oh, total. I'll just put total. Okay, 
And on this side, I'm going to have, now it doesn't matter if you put the pence on this side or the pounds on this side, it doesn't matter. As long as the pounds and the pence are separate in separate parts, okay? So I'll put the pound on this side and I'll put the pence on this side. Now, what you are going to do is, so we're just working through this example together, but when we move on to your challenge, you are going to be drawing the pounds and the pence. Okay, now on the screen, on this side over here, I've got all of the pounds and pence ready for you um, if you need help um, to draw the pounds and pence, okay? So three pounds. Now there's two ways I could do this. How can I make three pounds using these coins here? So pause the video here and talk to your teddy. How can I make three pounds? Right, there's two ways to do this. The first way is I could draw three one pound coins. So I could draw three one pound coins. So that's one, that's two, And that's three. That's one way I could do this. Or instead of doing this, what I could do is let me get my rubber ready. The other way that I could do it is I could actually use a two pound coin. So oh, now I've got my rubber on. Silly Miss Vague. Okay. So I could draw a two pound coin. Now I know. Now I can see that the two pound coin is slightly bigger than the one pound coin. So I'm going to try and draw it to the right size. And then I've got a one pound coin here. So this is a two pound coin and this is a one pound coin. So that's three pounds. Now I need to make 70 pence. Now what I could do is I could use five piece. I could use 10 peas. I could draw seven 10 peas to make 70 p. But I would like to use the least amount of coins in my part whole model. So I'm going to start off with the biggest coin, which is 50 p. So I'm going to draw up my hexagon. I'm going to look at the at the 50 p coin on the screen to help me in case I'm not really that sure how to do it. Okay, it doesn't have to be accurate. Look, Miss Bakes is not accurate as long as I can tell roughly what it is. So 50p, now I'm not going to put the pound sign because I remember this is pence, so 50p. I've got 50p here. Now I need to get up to 70. So let me count. How many more do I need to get up to 70? So 50, I've got 60, 70. I need 20 more pence. Hmm, How, what, what coins could I use to make 20p. What do you think? Pause the video and talk to your teddy. Well done. I could use just one 20p, which is also a hexagon shape. I could use one 20p, couldn't I? That would be a nice, that would be a nice easy way to make 20p, uh, 70p altogether. So there's my 20 pence there. So let me count now if that makes 70, 50, 60, 70, 70 P. Or I could use two 10 pence coins here. I could draw two 10 pence coins as well. Or I could draw five, five, um, sorry, I could draw four five pence coins with 50 P to make 70. So there are different ways that we could make 70 pence. Okay, but I've just chosen this way. Now, we've got through this example together. Your special job is you are going to use your part whole model. I'm going to give you the total amount and then you are going to partition the total amounts of money into pounds and pence. So get ready, Morris class. Let's begin with challenge number one. Challenge one, we've got question one. You need to partition. So remember, this is our total at the top. Okay, pens. Pens ready, that's our total at the top. We've got one pound and 10 pence. So that's, that's a little bit easy. If we put the pounds on this side and the pence on this side, how would you do this? Should we go through the first one together? Let's go through the first one together. Okay, so how could we make one pound? Very good, that was nice and easy. You just choose a one pound coin. Okay, one pound, done. Now 10 pence. 
10 pence which coins we could we could use one pence we could put 10 one pennies we could put five two pennies we could put two five p's should we do two five p's that makes 10 pence or should we choose one 10 pence you decide okay i'll use one 10 pence i could feel i could feel you morris class through the screen like one 10 p okay so that's challenge one question number one so remember every time you take um you do a new question because you will have to rub it out because you're using your laminated part whole model so make sure your adult takes a picture um of your part whole model before you move on to the next question okay otherwise i won't be able to see your work so take a picture stop here take a picture and then we'll move on to question two Okay, well done for taking a picture. Let's go on to question number two. Question two, we've got one pound and 25 pence. So you choose now, pause the screen here if you want to, uh, if you want to look at the money on the side of the screen, okay? So pause here, and then once you've completed your answer, take a picture and then we'll move on to question three. Well done for completing question number two. I wonder which coins you chose. Right, question number three is two pounds and 60 pence. So again, pause the screen here so you can, um, you can choose your coins from the side of the screen. And then once you're ready, take a picture and then we'll move on to the next, next question. Okay, question number four, same thing. Pause the video here. Right. Oh, I forgot to mention, sorry, this is challenge number two. So that's challenge two, question four. Right, challenge two, question five. So we've, we're, the um, total amount is growing. It's getting bigger. We've got a greater value now. Okie dokie. Last one before we move on to something else. Make sure you're taking your pictures, Morris class, after each question. And then challenge three, we have. Now, can you try reading this for me? Well done. Seven pounds and 93 pence. Seven pounds and 93 pence. So seven pounds. So you know how many pounds there are? Seven pounds. And how many pence? 93 pence. Okay, well done. Make sure you've taken a picture of that question so then I can see it on tapestry. And our last one. So we've got question number eight. It says complete the bar model below by finding the missing coins to make the total value of 13 pounds and 50 pence. So there's a £10 note here, and here's our little lovely jade. We've got a £10 note and a £2 coin. So in our bar model, we've got a £10 note and a £2 coin. So add those together, what does that make? Well done, £12, but we need to make £13.50. So what, what um, coins do we need to put into these boxes here to make £13.50? We've got £12 already because we know that 10 pounds add two pounds is 12 pounds, but we need to make 13 pounds and 50 pence. So pause the video here, have a look at this um, question and try your best. Underneath this hand are some missing coins. I wonder what Jade is trying to hide from us, which coins? Now there's only two coins because there's two spaces in our bar model. Okay, so that's a little hint for you. There's only two coins that you can use. Once you've completed all of these questions, make sure that you've taken the pictures. If you've missed a picture, then just rewind the video back and then complete the part module again and upload it onto Tapestry. So we have come to the end of our maths video, Morris class. I hope you enjoyed it and you're staying safe at home uh, and warm at home. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, Morris class. Bye.